Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. We've been in cracking form lately, so I hope you've been cashing in. On Saturday, Dalboy predicted the bar pot returned 600 Rand, and also his best bet cousin Casey won well for the punters. Um, also today, the kid predicted another day, uh, sorry, all around the world, uh, that best bet also won. Uh, at 17 to 10. So that's fantastic tipping. Um, I'm going to have the postman tipping out at Turfentain. He's going to take you through his analysis. So I'm going to hand you over to the postman. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, no matter where in the world you guys are. A big warm welcome <clears throat> to the Top Tipper family. Racing comes to us on Tuesday, the 22nd of November, and we at the Turfentain uh, inner track. There are eight races carded. And the first event is Geoff at 12.30. Before we get into the preview, guys, those that have had a touch on the football, um, I hope you guys clean up. Um, personally, I'm hoping that the Dutch do very, very well. I punt them every uh, World Cup, and maybe one day they'll do something for me. But yeah, those that have had a touch, good luck. The first race, due off at 12.30, maiden plates, over 1,000 meters. This is the first leg of the bipod, and I think we have a ready-made banker here. This is horse number 10, Wind Water. Keegan DeMello gets a ride for the Van Furen Yard. This one has had one run, finishing third behind Mystical Dream. Was a really, really good one, moved up as if it was going to go past, but was beaten by a decent sort on the day. Has had a short rest, but I do think that at 4 to 10, this one looks the ready-made banker of the day. For second, I've gone for the stable companion, number one, COVID operator, Gav Larina, as I said, uh, for the Van Furen yard. In this field, um, certainly can fill in one of the minor spots. For third, gone for a nice roughy year, horse three. This is Fort Apache. We go back and we look some of its at Cape form. Um, that five lengths to Port Louis was a decent effort. Has run to some decent sorts. And again, if you're taking swingers and exactors, I certainly wouldn't leave the three out. And for fourth, I've gone for the first time. Again, uh, from the Van Furen yard, horse number eight, Egyptian King. Uh, nasty drawn at one, Chase Majan gets a ride, and in this field doesn't have to be too good to fill in the back end of trifectas and quartets. So race one, we've gone 10, 1, 3, and 8, and we're bankering the 10 in the bipod. The second race on the card, you're off at 13.05, maiden plate for females, or for my apology for fillies and mares, again over 1,000 meters. Um, there is a nice first-timer in this race, but we'll get on to that. My narrow first selection here, guys, is horse number seven, and this is Let's Cruise. Randall Simons uh, for Alec Laird has had uh, two decent efforts. Um, the first run was very green, was running on on that occasion. And again, I certainly think that this one, um, round about six, seven to one, um, must must be included in exactors and swingers. My second choice is the favourite, number eight, Silver Mensa. This is Keegan DeMiller for the Van Furen Yard. Um, this has had two decent efforts. Uh, big negative for me here, coming back from a 20-week layoff. Um, and is a debutant for the stable. This was previously with the Paulie Peter Yard. If this one is fit and well, will uh, certainly go really, really close to winning. For third, guys, we've gone for horse number five. This is your first time a heart of eternity. Gav Larina for Erica Verdanese. Um, I do think that this one, round about seven to two, um, I think that this one can certainly make the... The uh, first two selections pick up their feet and cannot be left out of exotics. For fourth, we've gone for the three, Southern Style, Ryan Munger for the Fortune Yard. Um, we're going to look 
two runs back wasn't a bad effort behind nice move and ran just under three lengths behind tried and uh, true um, with Ryan aboard and again good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets so race two I've gone seven eight five and three guys watch this five go down if there's betting support for this one maybe um, include this in a couple doubles and certainly certainly worth a touch um, on the head if there is support for it like as I said currently seven to two move on to the third race this is the first egg of the pick six and this is Joff at 1340 and this is a maiden plate for 1600 meters my first selection here is the first timer horse number two celestial city Calvin Habib for Sean Terry this one is exceptionally well bred um if this is half as good as its siblings, um, Rainbow Bridge, Hawam, Golden Ducat, um, I think that this will be a hard horse to beat. Again, what we need to do, guys, is watch this one going down. If having a touch on, on, on the head and see if there's any support for it, for pig sixes, you don't have to include this. Um, you'll get the first timer uh, rule. But I do think that this is a decent, decent sort. For second, I've gone for horse number seven, Twa Twa Kut. And this is Randall Simons for Mike de Kock. Had one very, very promising effort in a feature race. Finishing seven lengths behind Unzen. Um, really, really, really good run. And I'd certainly think that if the two does not win, the seven will Swingers, exactors, two and seven in this race. For third, we've gone for horse number four. Top sale, Keegan the Miller for the Batchet Yard. We see how this yard has turned. And we know that um, this one only finished one and a half lengths behind uh, Otto Laken last time out. Jumps at handy with Keegan aboard. I think the drop back in distance will suit. We know that the third horse has come out and won since. And certainly worth thrown into back ends of trifectas and quartets and for fourth guys I've thrown in horse number nine this is Wonder World uh, Cabela Mazziani for the Dawson Yard um, nicely drawn at three the last effort was not a bad effort I think that the 1600 will suit this one better and again certainly worth back end of trifectas and quartets I do think that this one is looking for a lot further but in this field, certainly good good enough for trifectas and quartets. So race three, we've gone two, seven, four, and nine. And I do think that two and seven should be sufficient for the pick six. Fourth race in the card, draw at 14, 15. A maiden plate for the girls over 1,600 meters. And in this event... Um, gone for a little bit of a rough year. Gone for horse number three on the guest list. Gabe Peterson for Mike de Kock. Um, last time out, finished six lengths behind the Macro Blossom. I know that horse one did finish um, in front of it. However, I do think that last time out with the draw of 13 certainly didn't help. Now Nazi drawn at two. Um, Gabriel claiming he's one and a half. And um, in a tough race, I've made this my narrow first selection. For second, I've thrown in horse number nine. This is United Council. <clears throat> Muzi Yeni retains the ride here for Robbie Sage. Um, first time out, finished just over six lengths behind the winner. I do think that the additional 400 meters will suit this one down to the ground. Nicely drawn at four. And again, I certainly think that we can look for an improved effort from horse number nine. For third, I have gone for the favorite, horse number one, Brazilian Storm. Diego de Gavea retaining the ride here for the Buertis Force New Yard. Last time I had this jumped, set the pace, was caught late. Um, and again, I think in this field, good enough for back end of tough vectors and quartets. For fourth, we've gone for horse number two, Roslyn. Uh, Gav Larina gets a ride here for the Clarsen Yard. Um, is coming back from a 14-week layoff. But we go and look, Gavin has ridden it on the on two occasions, 
finishing fourth on both occasions, um, two lengths behind Manhattan and three lengths behind Cerulean Dancer. Those were not bad efforts, and again, certainly worth uh, to include back end of trifectas and quartets. So in race three, guys, uh, my apologies, in race four, we have gone three, nine, one, and two. For the smaller punter, I like three and nine. We we'll move on to the fifth race on the card. Jaw at fourteen fifty. A graduation plate to be run over sixteen hundred meters. And in the fifth race, we find the first of my value bets, and this is horse number three, Total Protection. Ryan Munger gets a ride here for the Fortune Yard. Nicely drawn at one. Last time out, six lengths to Anfield's Rocket in the feature. That was a grade three. We know how highly the stable um, thinks of Anfield's Rocket. Maroon has gone on record as saying this is the best horse in the country. So if it is the best horse in the country and this one can finish six lengths, I think that this one round about 28 to 10 is really, really good value. And I make it my first selection. Um, this one's also carrying only 54 and a half. So certainly, certainly uh, must be included in all exotics. For second, I've gone for horse number seven. This is Simple Simple. JP van der Merwe gets a ride here for Mike de Kock, um, carrying 51 and a half. Also, got some decent form. Runs behind Miss Daisy, Maharani, Feather Boa. These are decent, decent runs. That is a third run after a rest. And as I said, with the bottom weight of 51 and a half, certainly, certainly cannot be left out. For third, we've gone for the top weight, horse number one, and this is Platinum Sky. Platinum Sky is ridden by Gav Lorena for the Terry Yard. Two runs back um, with Gavin aboard, just finished second, two and three quarter lengths behind East Coast. And we know how well East Coast did in the feature the other day. Um, carrying 60 on his back. Um, back for me, back end of trifectas and quartets. For fourth, we've gone for the two, definitely maybe. Keegan the Miller for the De Kock Yard. Nasty drawn at two, carrying 57. Again, uh, back end of trifectas and quartets for me. So race five, three, seven, one, and two. And I do fancy the three at around about 28 to 10. Six race on the card, you're off at 15.20. Mid rate at 80 handicap, over 1,500 meters. And in the six race, guys, please take note, horse number nine, Iron Tail, has been scratched. In the sixth race, my narrow first selection is horse number seven, Bloomington. Cabello Mazziani uh, gets back aboard this one for Fabian Abib. Nicely drawn now at four. Um, Cabello rode this one two runs back at this course over this distance, um, whereby beat Flashy Apache by over a length. I do think that Bloomington will give a good account of itself and again, must be included in all the exotics. For second, we've gone for horse number six, uh, Foreign Fields. Foreign Fields ran the other day, uh, finishing three and a half lengths behind the winner. Um, was running on. Ryan Munger getting the ride here for the Matchet Yard, um, carrying 59. And I do think, again, this one in an open race must be included. For third, we've gone for the four. This is Indus Knight, Gav Lorena for Candace Dawson. A nice run last time out with Josh Solomons aboard. Um, his first run back from a 14-week layoff was previously with uh, Paul Peter. Um, and I do think that Gavin will give this one a pizza of a ride. Must be included in all exotics. For fourth, we've gone for the 10. This is the bottom weight. Muzieni for Mike de Kock. Um, only 52 on his back. This did win a maiden last time out beating Sharapova, uh, but we're going back and we look even further, run second to the Mauritian, um, that's a decent effort, four and a half lengths to have the profit, and I do think with 52 on his back, is a lively contender, I think, as I said, the sixth race, I think it's an open event, and take there as many as the budget will allow, my narrow first selection is seven, and I've gone seven, six, four, and ten. 
we'll move on to the seventh race on the card. And in the seventh race, uh, please take note, guys, horse number 10, Dancing Arabian, has been scratched. The seventh race is Joff at 15.50, merit rated 94, handicap for fillies and mares, to be run over 1,450 metres. And in this event, we find the second of my value bets. And my value bet here is horse number nine, Princess Philippa. And the reason I fancy this, um, ran on really, really powerfully last time out to beat Dancing Arabian. I know there was a weight turnaround with Dancing Arabian, but that being scratched, I really think that um, 7 to 2, 4 to 1 is a really, really decent price. And I think it's great, great value. For second, I have a con force number two, Midnight Gem, Gavlerina for Philip Alabaschachny, Nasi drawn at one, third run after arrest, ran second last time behind Bon Vivant. Um, I was always a bit dubious about the distance. Um, 1450 in this track, I think, will be all right. And again, must be included in um, your permutations. For third, gone for nice Raffia, horse 11, Golden Spoon. This one will be carrying 49 kilos. Sianna Sasebo gets her out for the decock yard. And with a low mass of 49, certainly can upset the apple cart. I think this will jump. I think we'll go to the front. If skips at the top of the lane, maybe very hard to peg back. For fourth, we've gone for the seven, Golden Aspen. Marco van Rensburg for Corne Spiss. Marco gets on very, very well with this one. Um, one last time out after losing ground at the start. And again, in a... Uh, not a difficult race, but in a tricky event. This one's certainly good enough to fill in the back end of trifectas and quartets. So race seven, guys. We've got nine, two, eleven, seven. And I do think that nine is decent value. We move on to the lucky last. This is Joff at 16.20. Merit rate at 74. Handicap for the girls over 1,450 meters. And I really, really think that we're onto a decent one here. My first selection is horse number seven, Just Be Nice, Gavlerina for Candace Dawson. This one last time out was a touch of support for it from 10 to 1 to 5 and a half to 1, 11 to 2. Ran second behind Rennie. Rennie is a decent uh, sort. And I really think that um, this inmate of the Dawson Yard will be very, very hard to beat. For second, I've gone for horse number four. I see Pambile, uh, Cabela Mazziani gets it right for the Terry Yard. Again, this finished fourth behind my first selection. Um, and again, I think good enough to fill in the back end or to fill in one of the minor spots. For third, I've gone for the six. And this is Tulip Tree, Randall Simons for Stuart Pettigrew. This one I made and last time out beating Rarotonga Rose and um, ran on really, really well on that occasion. Um, is back from a bit of a rest. And we know that Rarotonga uh, Rose has come out and won since. So the form has been franked. For fourth, gone for horse 11, United Express. Uh, nasty drawn at three. Uh, Marker for Rensburg gets a ride here for Roy Magna. Um, ha uh, has a handy galloping mass of only 54 uh, kilos. And with a nice draw, and the strong um, urgings of Marco, certainly good enough to fill in back end of trifectas and quartets. Um, should this one arrive, should this one run a drum, we'll certainly make things pay. So race eight guys, we've gone seven, four, six, and 11. And I do think that seven is a decent bet. I think round about four to one, I think is probably for me one of the best bets on the card. As I said, we, will, uh, we don't tip uh, four to 10 shots as best bets. Um, but if you're looking at taking doubles or anything like that and you want to get a bit of a stretch, maybe take whatever you fancy with the 10 in the first race. Guys, as I said, just watch the betting of some of those first timers, especially in the second and the third race. Both really, really well bred. If there's support for them, include. And um, if they look well going down, maybe worth a touch. Guys, look after yourself. Take care. And Stevie, back to you guys in the studio. Cheers for that, the postman. We really appreciate the time and effort you put in with your studying. 
I know you take it very seriously and you want the guys to make some nice tidy profit at the end of each each um, meeting. So guys, um, listen to the postman, take into account what he says, and remember the most thing, uh, the most important thing, have fun guys. So all in all, enjoy, have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.